what's going on guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome and please consider subscribing thanks in advance this is the continuation of my router leaf build just in case you missed part one the link is in the description below and as i promised the free plans are ready for download link is in the description below as well I'm almost done showing you the complete build, what we're just missing is the box or housing where I will install the mechanism, also the insert plate and the crank handle. Now let me first just discuss with you the plan so you'll know what to do if you decide to make some variations. I must admit about my design that's quite bulky, it is due to the type of router that I got. I actually do encourage people to make their own versions out of these plans. Please feel free to modify. The PDF is printable in A4 and it's available in metric and imperial system. Always refer to the written dimensions and do not scale from these drawings. Okay, first off, sheet number one, the cover page. You'll find my standard notes. Please read the notes carefully and the disclaimer. Sheet number two, just some labeling of the parts just for easy identification. Sheet number three is the exploded view. This is quite important. This is where you'll be able to identify the parts. Read this in conjunction with the cut parts in sheet numbers six and six to ten. This will also guide you in assembling the parts. Sheet number four is the base only or without the moving carriage up and down. This is to show the location of the hardware. You should take note that the long nut embedded in the carriage. You can also use T-nuts as an alternative. These are the location of the bearings. Sheet number five are the elevations. Additional views to help you with visualizing the design. These parts are optional. These are just to hold the vertical shaft down but when I did mine, I realized there's no need for it. The bearing alone is enough. This box where the router sits upon is also optional. This works only with a fixed body router like mine. If you have the removable base router, the one that is more common nowadays, I think the clamp is enough to hold it properly. The height of the bearing is also optional, you can find the correct height as you install the bevel gears. If you wish to make the design smaller, you can shrink this length, feel free to change them, I think that you can make it short up to these lines. Sheet number 6 to 10 are the cut parts, as mentioned the bearing height may vary. Sheet number 7, just as mentioned earlier, these parts inside the circle are optional. Sheet number 8, these parts are self-explanatory, you can change the shape, even the whole design and the size to match your router. Or if you don't want to change anything, this is 1 to 1 scale, just print it out in A4 paper size, glue it on a piece of wood and trace the outline. Watch out for this part. I don't know what happened here, you might need to trim this or you might not. In my case I have to trim it for some reasons, maybe just another anomaly in the matrix. Anyway that's it, I believe this is all about it. Let me just pick up where we left off in part 1. Previously I mentioned I just need to find how to connect the drill key to the threaded rod. Since I don't have a welding machine, this is the solution available to me. I use a long nut to hold them together but the drill chuck is slightly bigger in size so I have to make a way how to insert the chuck key into the long nut. I made the several cuts to loosen one end to enable me to insert the key and forcing it in with a hammer then I drilled the hole and lock it with a bolt and nut. This is not the prettiest but it's working well and that's enough for me. Then I fixed the bearings, making sure the height is correct and properly connected, particularly the teeth of the bevel gears. It is pretty much straightforward. I use a clamp as a temporary crank handle and test out the mechanism if this is working correctly. So far it's good.
thanks everyone for watching i'll see you guys on the next one don't forget to subscribe share and like i appreciate your time bye for now